So much emotion tied into this story and what a gut punch, not the outcome that anybody wanted. The body of that missing six year old boy finally found in that retention pond near his home late last night. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palolo. Yeah, we were fearing that this wasn't going to end well, but when you get the news, it just hurts your heart. So just as we learned how that little boy died, crews in Westchester had to respond to yet another emergency involving a child. And WLWT News Vice Brian Hamrick is live with the tough couple of days out there. Hi, Brian. Yeah, Cherie, well, this has been very difficult on a lot of people out here. We're talking about fire, police, volunteers, the whole community, just people who had been watching this and hoping for the best. Now, there's a vigil out here at Mulhauser Barn, Barn tonight at 6 o'clock. So that's coming up uh, in about an hour from now as people try and process this very difficult week. Yeah, there's some thick spots for sure. For those who came to search. Oh, we had hundreds, hundreds of people show up. Hope traveled in hiking boots. Come on, little dude, where are you? Dusty Palmer said he felt like he had to be on the search. I have a five-year-old autistic daughter at home. And if somebody, you know, if that happened to me, I'd want everybody to help. From woods to water, no leaf, no liquid would be left unturned and in a small retention pond where divers had zero visibility, they found the answer that had eluded them, and it was darker than the murky water. Unfortunately, the outcome was, you know, we recovered him out, out of that lake, which was very unfortunate and very sad for all. They found the body of little Joshua Alatif Jr. The coroner ruled to death accidental drowning. So that takes a toll not only on us, but it takes a toll on the community. But for Westchester Fire Chief Rick Prince and his crews, there would be no rest. I can't find, they can't find my son. Less than 12 hours after wrapping up one search, another search for another missing child begins near Lakota Lakes. Fortunately, this child was found quickly. A large volunteer effort was not needed. But if it was, it's very uh, reassuring to know that the community has our back in the way that they do. In Westchester, how far support goes can be measured in muddy miles. Yeah, now people have felt like they just wanted to do something. Here's a couple of things that we heard about. A local funeral home is uh, donating the services for Joshua and someone has bought a plot for the boy. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.